Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and today I've got this cute little folded treat box to share with you. It's really simple to put together, but I've got a little tutorial for you to make it really easy. First of all, we're going to start with a five and a half by nine and three quarter inch piece of cardstock. And we're going to score um, at one and a quarter, four and a quarter on the short side. And then we're gonna score at three, four and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and eight and a half on the long side. So to do that, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna use a different pattern for the box that I make for you, just so you can see it. So on the short side, we're gonna score at one and a quarter. Basically, it's one and a quarter on both sides, um, depending on what you're comfortable with. So I'm gonna move this over. The one and a quarter line is this last little line on my trimmer. So I'm gonna bring it over there, and then I'm gonna give it a score. And then I can flip it around and do it on the same side, which as you can see is the four and a quarter line um, as well. So it's whatever you're comfortable with, but it's one and a quarter on both sides. Then on this piece, um, I know that I want this side has a direction and I want the top of my box that where the flap opens, I want that part to have the little um, cupcakes and candy jars facing up. So this side that I'm going to score um, these two lines here, I want to have on this side. So I'm going to score this. I'm going to flip that over again. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to score at three, four and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and eight and a half. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this together. Now on here, we are going to cut away um, a couple of the pieces. So up here, I've crossed off these two sections. So you wanna take your snips and just cut off those two parts completely because we don't need them. And I think that's really simple. Then the other thing that I'm going to do is round the corners of that flap just so that it tucks in a little bit easier for you. Um, it does kind of make a difference. Now if you can, if you have a corner rounder, you can use that. I actually am gonna use my um, envelope punch board because there's a corner rounder built into it and I have it handy here so that just kind of worked. <laughs> okay so there we go. Now let's go ahead and get this put together. We, oh we do have to cut um, one more tab. Sorry. I got excited about rounding the corners because I was worried I was going to forget that part. <laughs> okay we also need to just trim up to the score line on that center tab as well. That's the bottom of the box. And of course, we wanna make sure that it'll fold nicely. Now, if you want, you can even um, cut, ooh, you can even cut in on this a little, it, you don't have to go, just to create those little tabs. That sometimes makes your box fit together a little nicer when you do that, but it's not necessary. Okay, so I'm going to put this together and you, I, um, in looking at this, I want the front of it to be nice and pretty. So I want these tabs to wrap around towards the back, if that makes sense, okay? So I'll just put some glue on here. I personally feel the best glue of all is to use liquid glue whenever you're gluing a box together. It will hold sturdier than any kind of tape or or um, adhesive that I've used. 
in my experience. Okay, so I want both of those to go to the back. And then you just want to make sure your box is nice and square. And if you scored nice and even, you shouldn't have any trouble with that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of press on both sides to make sure everything went together. And that looks good. By the way, I also should have creased on these before, but that's fine. Okay, so now I've got my cute little box, right? Now what I want to do is decorate it to make it adorable. So first of all, I have die cut some pieces here. Uh, ahead of time. I took, so I'm using the How Sweet It Is printed paper. And you can see this paper is so much fun. But what I love about it is that it coordinates with the How Sweet It Is bundle, or the sweetest thing, I should say, bundle. And so there are stamped images that you can stamp, and then there are framelits that you can cut out that coordinate with them. And what's really cool is the printed, they also line up with the printed paper. So I want, I was in a hurry to make this, this, um, come in. I wanted, I wanted to come up with a second box for you. So I was kind of in a hurry. So I thought, oh, I'll just cut out the printed paper and then I've got my little candy jar. So I did that. I also included, um, the largest stitched shape square out of some, this is, um, Highland Heather. Woo! I was really struggling with that name for a second. Okay, so I'm going to adhere my Highland Heather to the box. And this is just the cutest little treat. I think this would make an adorable um, party favor or treat box for someone special just to brighten their day because look at how happy these colors are. So I'm just going to adhere that in the side. Okay, then I'm going to take and pop this one up with some dimensionals. And then the other thing is I did stamp the treats, and then there's the cute little frame to or label die to cut that out. And then there's also these little candy-wrapped dies, and they're so cute because, check this out, so I pop that up. They both cut and emboss. Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to adhere those with some glue dots to my box. And this just really kind of decorates and finishes off the look, I think, to have a couple of these little, and I'm actually going to stick that one right over the coordinating one in there. And then we'll add this one on top with some glue dots. And then I've got my treats that I'm gonna pop up. So I stamped and die cut this out ahead of time just so it was ready for you guys. And then I'm just gonna add that to the jar right there. Look at how stinking cute this little box is. Now, as far as a treat is concerned, I took some of our little three by six gusseted cello bags and put some jelly beans in here, tied it with some ribbon, and then it will fit in here perfectly. And then you could add, if you wanted to make this a gift, you could put a little money in there. Um, you could you could slide a gift card in here if you wanted, whatever you want. You could really make this fun. But I just thought this was an adorable little box. So I hope you loved this. Um, I've got all the information, including a graphic with that template on my blog. So just click the um, the link in the description below and you'll find all of the information on that on my blog. Um, I used the Lemon Zest stamp set to make this one. I just thought this was so cute. And I need to get, you know, they have like those little lemon slice candies. I was at the store yesterday and couldn't find any, but I know they're out there. So that's what I would put in here because I think it would be adorable. Um, but anyway, all of the supplies that I use can be found in the description below or on my blog. And if you need to purchase any of these items, I would be so appreciative if you shop my online store. So check it all out. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know which box is your favorite in the comments below. And have a great day, guys. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.